Saints, after their shortened international break, looking to get back on track. They've lost two of their last three Premier League games after only losing two in the previous ten. Ralph Hasenhutl and Sean Dyche are down on the touchline already. The ball is on the centre spot. We're live in the Premier League. Burnley have won a corner and they're going to enjoy this swirling, horrible wind. And Burnley ahead of Saints on goal difference. Two places and no points between them. It's ball into the near post and it's gone in and Burnley has scored and we all thought the ball had hit the side netting. Saints let the ball go. Ben Mee has scored and Ben Mee has not scored since January 2017 in the Premier League, it looks like he's knocked it in. I thought McCarthy left it to go into the side netting, but the Burnley skipper has scored after less than two minutes. It was swung into the near post and Saints let it go. It's a terrible error from Danny Ings, who let it go at the near post, thinking it was well, going it into the side I, netting. I'm just wondering whether he's got a shout from the goalkeeper. Oh, no, he he's back that. to goal. Try the back heel to put Armstrong in, but he gets it back and he shoots! And Danny Ings has his 15th Premier League goal of the season. He becomes the fifth player to do that in the Premier League era. And more importantly, he has got Saints back into the game before the quarter mark here at St Mary's. He got a little lucky break, it came back to him. But boy, did he bury that well from the edge of the penalty area. Smashed it low past Nick Pope. And Danny Ings, he's on the money again, has another goal. 15 in the league now for him, and Saints are back in the game. Well, that's a DC goal for me. There was nothing on. He's nicked the ball off the, the defender. He's gone across the right-hand side of the D, and he's let fly. It's gone inside that near post. That's a cracking goal. Just backwards off Ward Prowse. They're definitely finding it hard, Dave, to judge the ball out of the sky. Not just Vestergaard, but there has been some poor passing, and the Saints get lucky here. And Bufaus fouled, and Hendrick will be the first Burnley player in the book. But again, Saints were lucky because it was a poor yeah, pass that gave Vestergaard the ball away. Got earlier, didn't he? Yeah, <coughs> first Burnley player in the book. You've got to play to those conditions, but we have. We've given the ball away too much. Ball out to Buffal from the free kick on this left wing, lining up Vidra. Gets it on his right foot, dangerous card and hits the crossbar! And caught by Pope as it bounces back out into the six-yard box. Jack Stevens rose, lovely delivery by Buffal's right foot. Stevens up from the back in the six-yard box, came off his head and hit the crossbar. Looks like the slightly easier passes, Dave, are the ones that are going yeah. astray. McCarthy whacks it clear. Headed back by very, the very scrappy big game frame of Tarkovsky. And then the header is awful from Vestergaard. Where's the second ball from Saints? Into Vidra, and he scuffed the shot as he's tackled. You know, Saints, again, you, when you play Burnley, you know, Oriol Romeo said this, you have to win the second ball. So where it's been half cleared by Vestergaard, there's no red and white shirt wanting that ball before the green shirts of Burnley. And Westwood and Cork are absolutely on everything, Dave. He's pushing over halfway, trying to switch the play back out to Shane Long. It's a good ball as well, and he's not down. He's clever once more this time to Hoyt there. This is a nice build-up from Saints. Buffal now getting into the box on the left-hand side. He's got numbers. He squares it across the penalty area, but he can't find a red and white shirt. And the end, Dwight McNeil back working hard, clears it. And Vestergaard on halfway can keep the pressure on with a neat pass to Bertrand. Ahead of him, Buffal again. Here we go, Buffal and Bardsley. Buffal lining him up onto his right foot, tries to cut it, deflects. It will balloon to the back post. And it was almost headed by Long towards Ings, but it hits a defender and Buffal down Bufal's injured. Buffal's got an injury. I think he's in trouble. I think he took it earlier. Now, Vidra's gone round Ward Prass and Saints are suddenly looking stretched again as Burnley come forward. Plenty of green shirts up, three approaching the penalty area, cross in from the right. Cross from Rodriguez, intercepted by Hoiberg and belted out by Hoiberg because he's Buffal's injured. And they want him looked at and the medical team come on. Well, well he, he had an injury earlier on in the game, Alan, Adam, and uh, he was struggling with it. I'm just wondering whether it's the same one. Buffal goes off, Musa Genepo comes on. Like for like, really, isn't it? Buffal, the more experienced, of course, an older player. Jennifer with more pace. 
Hoybier gets it back off Jenepo. I don't know why Jenepo didn't take it off him and run. Now he does. Hendricks actually gone away from him, so he can have a go at Bardsley. Hendricks with Bardsley. Good ball into Bertrand in the box. From the angle, he hits the side netting. Left footed, took it on the half volley. Decent strike, but Pope would have had it covered. But Saints starting the second half on the front foot at least, Dave. Burnley players having a go at Hendricks there because he's allowed Burton to get forward, make his run and uh, he's eventually got himself into the box. It's a good piece of play well, from Gineppo. It was strange. Who got his head up, saw him free, played him in, and Bertrand hits the side net in. 58 minutes gone, Saints playing it round at the back, looking for an out. McCarthy's going to have to clear this long again. See, I think they're inviting trouble when they Now it's gone over everybody, and Ings is onto it. Ings against Tarkovsky, pushed slightly wide, right-hand edge of the box. Ings will try and cross it to the back post, too much on it. Long was getting in there. 58 minutes on the clock, and that's that's been my best break so far in the second half. Yeah, we've had Bertram shot into the side netting, and that. And that's it. And the, the weather's getting worse, Dave. Has the ball on halfway. Back to Tarkovsky, who just took a clever touch in the end, but it scared a few Burnley fans. As Hendrick goes long early up towards Vidra, chests it down, he's going to get a shot on here. And left foot, and he blasts it! It's a great oh, strike is. from Matty Vidra. On what the volley, a ball that is. 12, 13 yards out. The Czech has smashed that. Left footed, past Alex McCarthy. As good a finish as Ings is, if not better. An hour gone, and Burnley have the lead again. It's Saints 1, Burnley 2. Well, that is a quality goal. They've gone down the right-hand side, ball's come into Vidra, he's took it on his chest, he's turned his man as that ball's come in. And it's somehow he's managed to get the shot away. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, he's allowed to chest it down. He's but took, he and then took it. a man on, yeah, he's brought it down goal. on his chest. Well, he's I'd knocked it. it past the defender, Peters, and hammered it into that near post well, that's off his left foot. Highlight of his Burnley career, absolutely. That Matthew goal's Vidra. every bit as good as Ings's. That's a class goal. Again, just the one moment of brilliance to talk about, like the first half, as McNeil nutmeg Stevens, and now Burnley could finish the Saints off here, pull back into the box, low shot, he has to be offside, he is. Poor decision from Hendrick again. McNeil lined it up for him, but he almost passed it at Rodriguez, who was standing in front of Alex McCarthy. So 15 minutes to go. Saints have switched it instead. Now, can Jenepo find some magic? Musa Jenepo, couple of step overs in the box on the left, pulls it back into the area. Ings tackled well by Tarkovsky. Rodriguez wants a cheap free kick. In the end, somehow got up Dave. He was going to fall, and he slotted it to McNeil. He's given it away, and Stevens has gone past Rodriguez. And Stevens still going, he's into the box on the right. Dummies the cross, it's great skill. Hits the defender, a massive shout for handball. A massive shout. The whole stadium went up. Saints players surrounding Simon Hooper. A huge shout for handball from Southampton. We've got our first VAR moment here. Stevens did brilliantly. His run went on and on, great dummy, Taylor slips. Oh, that's a handball against me. But did he have his arms down by his side? Will it be a penalty? And I think it will be no penalty, I think, but let's see. And there we are, well, no handball. Saints feel robbed. But I think you can understand why it's not given. Jack Stevens is going berserk. Armstrong is going across the pitch a long way and Eventually lets the ball do the work and sends it out to the left wing to Jenepo. Into the, we're in the last minute of normal time here at St Mary's. Saints need a goal desperately. Bertram from the left, great cross over everyone. Hoiberg, he hits it at Pope's chest. Narrow angle, close to the goal, and he hits the keeper. But that ball finding Hoiberg at the back post. He's in the six-yard area, right on the edge of it. Defender and goalkeeper in front of him, but he, he made it for me. I'm just getting a replay here for your benefit at home. He made it just a bit easy, hit it straight at the keeper at a good height. Yeah, he was under real pressure there yeah, as well. Yeah, not a lot on for him. Very narrow. And did angle. the best he could there, really. Yeah, not easy to get the ball away from bodies. But that's poor again from Rodriguez, Dave. Twice he's given Saints easy possession back, but this time Hoybier can't well, keep I it. Well, I make the time it. up here now. And so does Simon Hooper. 
a poor, poor afternoon at St Mary's for Southampton. It started badly, Dave, it finished badly. It's a bad, bad day.